that's two videos now of brand new content of us trying to kill this thing. And clearly you like them. I mean, take a look at these views. It's insane. And I mean, sure, I could just keep making videos of Saitama punching things to death. But I want to change things up because we don't need to necessarily kill Saitama. The question is, can we even stop him? So here's the rules of the game. We are going to fight here on the ancient sandbox. This wow. is our dividing line. On the one side, we're going to place none other than the One Punch Man. And on the other, way over here in this building, I'm going to put down Larry. Yes, I've read your comments loud and clear. You want more Larry, you're going to get more Larry. Now to make sure that Larry doesn't go anywhere, we're going to put a banner bearer behind him, forcing him to stay in one spot. And this is what happens when the fight begins and Saitama is allowed to do whatever he wants, he instantly kills Larry. Our goal is to try and help him survive for at least 10 seconds. If we can keep Larry alive for 10 seconds, I will consider that a win. So I've downloaded some of the strongest gods in the game to do so. And if even one of these gods of tabs managed to pull this off, I will be shocked. Our first opponent is the Reaper of all tabs, one of the most down downloaded gods in the entirety of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Will you be able to keep Larry alive, who's hiding back here, just crying to himself, praying that Saitama doesn't punch him 37 times in the chest? Well, let's start the clock and see if Saitama can be distracted long and no, long and, um, what was that, like two seconds? Even with a dark hand of God gripping him through the chest, he seems... Why is it raining black? Where did you send the god? I mean, there's its 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 torso. That's his chest. That's the god's rib cage. We need another god. This guy's called the god of gods, and he keeps disappearing. I don't know what's going on, but um, apparently there was ten units in the game, and the god of god just keeps. It's, it's broken. It's completely broken. Please help me. Find them. We will do the dark god of tabs. Take a look at this guy. Downloaded like tens of thousands of times. I wonder what he's going to do. Dark God of Tabs, who does have the negative heal beam, which can do an insane amount of damage. Can he survive long enough to keep Saitama distracted? That was like maybe three seconds tops. And there's nothing left of the Dark God of Tabs other than one of his stabs, some puffs of smoke, and the other staff. Saitama doing that thing where he punches creatures into another dimension. Okay, okay. Remove this guy. Grab this god worth a bajillion points. He's got Dark Hands of Gods. He's got swords. He has a lightsaber. One eye. Give me a vibe from the One Punch Man show. I don't know if he can do the same thing. Let's just start the fight. We have instant destruct instant destruction. He's just literally just one punched him, which caused him to kamikaze with his own swords into his chest. Come on, there's gotta be some unit in this arsenal that can save Larry from One Punch Man. Now we're going on to our next unit. Something along the lines of not even you can beat this crew. That's the name of this unit, and he seems fairly simple. And unassuming, but if we give him a chance, he, he, what, what happened to him? I want to watch that again in slow motion. Let's see what happens. He goes for the punch, right? Bounces off the chest, grinds his head along Super Saitama's butt, knocks him into the air. Saitama is actually being distracted for a fairly long time. But even after all that distraction, which was like four seconds top, he sends the god flying and then teleports using his super speed over to Larry to not serious punch him from a distance, no, to punch him directly in the face. Apparently this is the God Peasant. The God Peasant is listed to be able to kill 60 plus Super Peasants. But can 60 plus Super Peasants beat Saitama? No. No it can't. As uh, oh, hey, hey, we've got some survival. We, we, we. That was like six seconds. That's not bad. Okay, this guy lasted the longest so far, distracting Saitama for five or six seconds before ultimately being wrecked for Saitama to come over. And turn Larry was called Crow's Death. It was downloaded thousands of times. Sounds like it's powerful. Looks like a white ghost. Ginormous compared to One Punch Man. Could we have a longer fight? Oh, we do. Oh, we do. The fight lasted a while. <laughs> Got my hopes up in everything. 
I'm so excited. I thought we finally found somebody able to let Larry live long enough. But no, One Punch Man says, what's up? Okay, the God of Gods. He's the God of Gods. There is, he's the gaudiest God of all the God Gods. Can the God of Gods make Larry live? The God of Gods was just instantly uppercut. You guys ever watched Mortal Kombat or play Mortal Kombat as a kid? I loved the uppercut ability in Mortal Kombat, and that's what happened to the God of Gods. Sent to the moon so Larry could die. This guy has a cool name. He's called Alan Harris, the dominator of like good and evil. Apparently he's a god. His name is Alan Harris. He's got a giant ice sword. And now we'll see if our lovely creation can actually defeat Saitama who punched it into the moon and then serious punched. Apparently, according to the description, this guy is invincible. Invincible, like he can't die. Like nothing can kill him. Not Saitama, whoa, hello. Hey, he's not that invincible. He did fairly well until he took a serious punch to the face that murdered him and then Saitama boogied on over to break this man's arm in seven places. This is called the Beast God. He's a Beast God. Look at him. His face, kind of beastly. Kind of like a beast jester. Kind of like, ooh, Dark Hands of God doing a great job of crowd control, but the serious punch halfway across the map killed Larry. Of all gods, can the Elder of all gods just Dragged long and nope, not long and nope, not long and nope. I think Larry was just shoved headfirst into the stairs. I'm running out of units. I'm running out of gods. Nothing can survive Saitama long enough to give Larry a chance to live. This guy, one punch, took two punches. Hey, 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 we're getting some survival. No, that wasn't, that wasn't 10 seconds. That, that wasn't 10 seconds. Larry's over there somewhere. Hold on. Did, did Saitama ignore the god and go over here and kill Larry before returning to the god? Did that just happen? <laughs> you mean to tell me that this unit, if luck had prevailed, would have actually won? That's interesting. So wait a minute, if I have this fight again with this unit and he doesn't get yeeted by Saitama, does that mean we might actually have somebody who is surviving long enough to allow Larry to live? Oh, was that 10 seconds? Because Saitama came over here to punch Larry 37 times on the chest. But the god's still alive. We will have the fight for a third time. I'm hoping that they, these two combatants stay close enough to each other long enough for this fight to last. 10 seconds, Super Punch sent the god away, and then he comes over here and kills Larry. Guys, this god is the closest solution we have to allowing Larry to live for 10 seconds. And you think these fights are insane? Oh, you just wait for these ones. For example, I could take something like a boatload of Artemises, and I'll, I'll throw some over here, right? And I'll throw some over here. And this, this is just for control test. Look at that. Look at this man dodge. It's insane. He decimates this army just so quickly. You ever play dodgeball as a kid? I was a dodgeball champion, and there's no way I could be like this. This is insane. Though if we played dodgeball with arrows, that would be a whole different class. So regular gods stand no chance against Saitama. He's far too strong. He's far too powerful. Look at him dodge. Look at that. He's like a jiggly jiggly man. This dude's got some serious side hops. And now he's decimating the last of her Artemis army. What does one Artemis think she's going to do against the One Punch Man? Yeah, where'd he go? Artemis, do you see him? Found him! Regular Artemises. They're strong, but we're gonna, we're gonna delete them. They're gone now. Goodbye. So instead, we're going to our lovely mod, and we're gonna type in ammo. I'm gonna go from 1 ammo to 11 ammo. Spread? We're not gonna modify the spread. Recoil? We're definitely not modifying the recoil. Attack speed? We'll leave it alone. And now, I'm actually gonna take the exact Artemises we just had, and I'm gonna summon a group over here, and a group over here. And look over here. Now these Artemises are firing 11 arrows instead of one. And they're in giant chunks of arrows. You can see that Saitama is becoming far more of a pincushion than he was before. As 11 arrows are striking him for every one arrow. And that doesn't matter. He punched one pile. He serious punched the other. And now he's slowly dancing his way to this pile of Artemises. It's useless. It's pointless. We need to go even bigger numbers. We need... Even bigger number. Let me just go over here and uh, slap down Saitama right there. Perfect. Looks great. And let's go to a uh, uh, 50 ammo and uh, uh, one spread. We'll do one spread. Zero recoil and regular attack speed. That's that's great. 
It's gonna be great. Nothing's gonna go wrong. And this time we're gonna go with regular old um archers, right? Just just these guys here, regular archers. And I'm gonna summon a beautiful ring of archers. Now this is gonna be fantastic. Each arrow is actually gonna be 50 arrows, and the arrows are all gonna fire at once, and you'll feel a little bit of lag in the game when it fires. All right, all right, are you ready, Saitama? There's a lag, and there's the 50 arrows. Pause. Look at that. Each archer fired 50 arrows, and they're all aimed at Saitama's belly, or what was Saitama's belly, now Saitama's doing his side hops thing. Seriously, could you not even give them a chance, Saitama? And the side hop, he dodged every single arrow. I like how they made this really cool ring of arrows, that's actually fantastic. If only they landed on Saitama. Though it seems a few may have caught his hand. That's great, look at that, that's wonderful. And now his consecutive no of hunches has decimated that entire army, or half the army. And then the serious punch destroys the rest. You know what you need, Sama? You need a little bit of control. Yeah, we're gonna take this to the simulation map. Oh, no, no, the arena. Here we are on the arena, and I'm actually gonna change the line. The line is no longer going to be straight is actually going to be a ring. And poor One Punch Man shall be placed in the center of the ring. Why would I put you in the middle of an arena, Saitama? Don't worry about it, everything's going to be fine. And now we need to find a way to control Saitama. The harpooners are exactly that control. If we take the harpooners and we just go around just like this. Now he is surrounded 360 degrees by people that want to crowd control him, including the long neck harpooner and the real short harpooner. This is what happens when all the harpooners fire on Saitama and the majority of them miss again in this really beautiful fanning direction. And this is the result I expected from regular everyday harpooners. They're doing a decent job of controlling him but Saitama's quite strong and he just burrows his way through all these minions. But what if we took the harpooners and we turn them into gods. Yeah, that serious punch is a little bit ridiculous. We need to go to an even more Bruh. open map. Look at all the room to play. Now we're talking. Let's grab One Punch Man, slap him down in the middle, and uh, no, no, not Harpooners. One Punch Man. Oh, Saitama, look at the size of this map. There's so much room for activities here. And let's actually test the maximum range of the Harpooners. We are going to control Saitama. Now, these Harpooners, as you can see, are really far away. The question is, at this distance, at this range, can they reach One Punch Man? Let's find out. Okay, good. At this distance, they all open fire and they all hit Saitama, but we know how this is gonna end. They didn't do a job. They didn't do a good job. They're actually harpooning each other, flicking each other across the room. One Punch Man is still unfair. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take the ring and increase it a little bit bigger. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, bigger harpoon is around there we go now we're doing the size test because the bigger the ring the more harpooners we can fit in it can they all reach they can all reach we must go bigger we are at over a hundred harpooners now can they still reach saitama at this range they can oh my goodness more than a hundred harpooners i think a hundred is a perfectly good number guys can a hundred regular harpooners control saitama he's, he's there he's standing in the middle he's doing his dodges Oh no, the harpooners are dragging each other in because they're missing each other with the harpoons and Saitama breaks free. 100 normal harpooners are not enough to stop One Punch Man. We have to upgrade the harpooners. Let's start with a harpooner that fires instead of one harpoon, 10 harpoons. Zero spread, zero recoil, one attack speed. Select our harpooners and then place them around One Punch Man. 101 harpooners, just like the 101 Dalmatians and they open fire and look. Look at the sheer number of harpoons. 10 harpoons per shot. Boom, look right there. That's 10 harpoons, and that's 10 harpoons, and that's 10 harpoons, and that's 10 harpoons, and he has been skewered with easily 100 harpoons. Is this enough to control Saitama? Here we go. Slow-mo, full speed. He's there, he's not moving. The harpooners are missing. He's dodging all the shots, and the dodging is causing the harpooners to drag each other to each other, to, to, yeah, drag each other to each other. Sure, why not, that's English. Saitama is still in the middle of the map. He's starting to resist. He's made it to the outer ring and now we have disaster. You guys ever been to your grandma's house where she's got like the sewing set and then she's got this little like pin cushion thing where all the pins are stabbed into? That's Saitama right now. Though I doubt grandma has this many pins. And oh, Saitama, your eyes. What's wrong with your eyes? This is quite the moment, I gotta say. Yeah, One Punch Man is about to destroy 
every single one of these gods. I don't think 10 is enough. I think we need to fire closer to 50 this next time. Let's give it a shot. And we're gonna delete this ring of gods. Goodbye, gods. And this time we're gonna upgrade it to 50 shots with a zero spread, a zero recurl, and a one attack speed. For those of you wondering what the spread looks like, I'll show you later. And now we're gonna summon 100 of these gods. Hopefully they don't ruin my computer considering they're each firing 50 projectiles. This could be a bad idea. 101 Dalmatians, 101 Harpooners firing 50 shots. You've got um hourglass figure Harpooner. Now my new favorite, this guy's waist is tight. And then you got a big brother, Harpooner. Just, just everyone's big brother. He's just so huge. Oh, and you've got little brother, Harpooner. Hey, Hobbit boy. And this Harpooner, this one right here, he has seen some things. His are the eyes of terror. Harpooners, 101 of them. 50 shots a piece. Oh, no, 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 no. I activated it and the slow-mo kicked in. Pause. Oh, please. Oh, please. I'm scared to let these impact. Here we go. Slow-mo, the impact hitting Saitama. Look at the ring of harpoons around him. Are you kidding me? Oh no, some of the harpoons are missing and they're gonna hit harpooners. I think the distance makes the accuracy a bit of a problem. Full speed, Saitama is looking particularly pin cushiony now. Regular slow-mo and Saitama is still in the middle of the arena, but now the harpoon shots are going in every direction and the harpooners are more likely to hit each other than Saitama. Now, One Punch Man is unable to close the gap, so he uses a serious punch to clear away one quarter of the harpooners. I'm uh, not gonna lie, I think 50 harpoons per harpooner might have been a mistake. Let's be real, Saitama. I think this whole mod has been a mistake. Ugh, it's like he's being sacrificed to a sacrificial god or something. Let's resume full speed. Oh my god, Saitama, where are you going, buddy? Slow down. I'm gonna do a bird's eye view. We're gonna let this go full speed, and I wanna see if Saitama can actually get close to anyone, or the harpoons can do a decent job holding him. No, he has attacked the harpooners. 50 was not enough. Guys, I have a new idea. I have a new idea, it's a great idea. Nothing could ever, 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 ever go wrong. I think our problem is the sheer number of harpooners. They're too far away and they're missing their shots. And now we're gonna shrink the harpoon ring down. At this range, how could you miss your shot? We're gonna keep it at the 50 for now. And I'm gonna do a one spread. I wanna see if the spread helps to hit. Zero recoil, one attack speed. And then we're gonna place the smaller number of harpooners. This is about half as many at 58 harpooners. Oh, now big brother and little brother harpooner are side by side. Look at that, that's cute. And uh, this harpooner needs a sandwich. Was this the right idea? Let's see what happens. Slow-mo activated, waiting for the moment. Everything gets fired. Here come the harpoons. You can actually see that one degree spread as the harpoons start to like split apart a little bit, making a tiny like shotgun shell of harpoons. And in maximum slow-mo, you can see them missing the target. Saitama doing his crazy dodging ability, but getting hit in the ribs multiple times by hundreds of harpoons. Which means the harpoons are now going in every direction. And I'd never realized this, the harpoons are way too close. What have I done? <laughs> yep, that's a problem. That's a problem. The harpooners are so close to each other that the harpoons just keep on going, skewer each other, and bring them close enough for One Punch Man to do his one punching. I regret everything. I am filled with nothing but regret. I mean, Saitama clearly has been impacted multiple times by the harpoons. He looks great. He's a pincush. It's fantastic. But so has the rest of the battlefield. Okay. We're going to do stupid. We're going to do a stupid. I I, I regret this. This is gonna this is gonna be fine. I hope this is gonna be fine. Take the circle, expand it. One hundred. Spread five. Recoil none. Attack speed five. This 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 is bad. This is bad. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm definitely scared. Ninety harpooners. Spread five. Attack speed five. These guys are going to be vicious. Saitama, I hope you are ready. Waiting for the moment. The harpooners open fire, waiting patiently. There it is, there it is. The lag is hit. We are waiting for the harpoons to attack One Punch Man and hopefully not break my game. There they go, there they go, there they go. The spread of five. Pause. What have I created? Saitama, how are you going to dodge this one, bud? Let's watch this one in 
Slow. Whoa! <laughs> he's gone. He's, he's, he disappeared. He's in there somewhere. Hello, Saitama. Where are you? Um, you may not believe it, but there is a One Punch Man hiding deep under those pin cushions somewhere. How skewered is he going to be? I think we're about to find out right now. Slow mode. Activate. Skewers impact the cameraman. Go through the cameraman. And left behind is a One Punch Man. I'm going to go up. I'm going to look at this guy. He seems to be quite impacted. I don't think he can move. It's almost a giant dinner plate of harpoon wires. Giving the harpooners a five. Oh no. Oh no, we attacked the harpooners. The harpooners attacked each other. And now they're being dragged into Saitama. If there was a way to make the harpooners immune to their own harpoons, this would be foolproof. We are at full speed and Saitama is just a punching there's, look, 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 what is going on? There's so many harpoons. I can't tell what's happening, guys. What have we done to totally accurate battle simulator? We have broken everything. <laughs> Pause the game. I have created a battlefield that denies all physics and ruins all space and time. This guy, the god of light. He looks like Raiden with like butterfly wings. Please tell me you know who Raiden is, please. Let's start this fight. I'm gonna go right up here to Saitama because I want to see what he's going to do. Three, two, one, go. The fight begins. The god, the god of light didn't even survive one single normal punch. Just an absolutely embarrassing embarrassing outcome. Well, Saitama, I brought you to the pirate faction, hoping the sand gets in your shoes and slows you down. And this unit is just called God. I do not like the haircut. It does not give me much confidence. And muskets against Saitama? I don't know, dude. Let's see what God can do against Saitama. He's keeping his distance, summoning what looks like a rocket storm. Saitama got serious with a super serious punch and this god went full reaper explosion. Yeah, that did not go according to plan, guys. Now, Saitama, I bring you to the world of the Monkey King. It's a truly beautiful land. And there against you is someone called the God Killer? Though why the God Killer wants to use machine guns, I have no idea. Maybe the sunglasses give him super extra power. Saitama versus the God Killer. Look at the lightning, the wizard spells coming out of the god killer's guns. Could these be powerful enough to kill Saitama? Also, why the machine gun still ejects bullets when it's firing lightning? I have no idea. Maximum slow mo, the lightning is impacting directly into the chest of One Punch Man, but he doesn't seem to be affected. We move to regular slow mo and he He's kind of shaking it off. And our god killer is backing up. Oh, that's ice breath. Because, you know, ice breath will free Saitama, right? One Punch Man shakes off the lightning blast, completely ignoring them, and then proceeds to punch the god killer. Oh, look at the blood. He punched out all of his blood. Oh, Saitama, you're too strong. Today, we bring Saitama to the wild, wild west, and he is versus a beautiful looking god. I love the golden scythe. I love the helmet. Lightning bolt and scythe. Is that enough to kill Saitama? The fight commences. Lightning is being thrown. Saitama using furious side hops. Oh, Saitama's head is gone. Saitama's head is gone. And yet that's still not enough to actually defeat Saitama, who got too close to our god and destroyed him. One Punch Man can lose his head and still win. Now we are in the Renaissance faction here for Mr. Da Vinci himself. And Saitama's opponent is this crazy looking god. I mean, look, look, look at the wispy tendrils. He looks so powerful. There's no way he's gonna lose, right? The fight begins. Slow mode is activated. Saitama is walking forward. Sword being thrown, Saitama dodges it. Another sword impacting right into the stomach of One Punch Man, but he doesn't seem to care. And One Punch Man gets close uses consecutive normal punches, and defeats this god. Apparently, the gods that people are creating in the workshop aren't that powerful so far. There has to be one god, any god, that is powerful enough to defeat him. So here, in the Legacy Realm, I have chosen this godlike creature. Can he beat Saitama? Let's find out. Slow motion. We're using a time stop ability from God. Can he actually stop time on one punch? Man, nope, Saitama. Saitama literally ignored time. He's more powerful than time. Consecutive normal punches, 
God gets wrecked, all is right in the world. One Punch Man versus God of the Katana. Maybe this Japanese God can do the job. Though I gotta say, he looks really, really good. Saitama, we have Fire Breath coming from the God of the Katana. You think One Punch Man cares about a little bit of fire? I don't think so. The Fire Breath has ceased. Red Vic- What? Ha what? Honestly, why did he die? One Punch Man hasn't even thrown a punch. Did you just- Give up? Did the god of the katana just perform seppuku? Finally, a moment I have been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. This is the god of monkeys holding on to two giant pieces of broccoli. He is a banana man with a monkey face and he's huge. Saitama, you might finally lose this day. The fight commences. Monkey man uses a fire breath weapon. The dark hands of god grasp Saitama and they throw him back. They're keeping him under control. Maybe these dark peasant hands can do the job of defeating One Punch Man. No, the super serious punch just killed the monkey god. Somebody please make a more powerful god, please. Here we have the god of death. And what is happening? What is floating above his head? This is the first god we downloaded complete with the blades from that modded unit by Grad. Can this god, with his crazy floating abilities, defeat Saitama? The fight starts, slow mode is activated, consecutive, normal punch it. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. The god is clearly dead, but why does the fight continue? Is there a, a floating? Yo, what is this ability? What is going on? What is this ability? Is this a modded ability in the workshop? Look at the blue and black blades going into Saitama. I've never seen this ability before. The fight continues. Saitama is dodging the attacks. And now there, there are insane abilities going on. Whoa, whoa, the god just yeeted himself off the map. Goodbye, god. Red victory. Those were modded abilities. And even modded god abilities is no match for One Punch Man. Welcome to the world of Egypt. Saitama is here against God. Um, Goku is so strong, he is hulking out of his clothes. Can God Goku defeat Saitama? Fight commences. Goku with the multiple, multiple laser blasts. I have Kamehameha of two, and Saitama is completely ignoring it. He's just advancing at regular walking speed. So right now, Goku's too far away to use contextual punches, but not far enough away to use serious punch. We're gonna really weird up. Never mind, Sandstill is over. Consecutive normal punches punches out all of Goku's blood. This god is called God Mode. He looks simple. He looks weak. And I'm hoping that he's more than meets the eye. All right, God Mode, let's see what you've got. Please tell me you're gonna throw crazy amounts of shur shur shurikens. There we go. Multiple fire. Nope. Hold on. Is that Saitama's blood? Did you make Saitama bleed his own blood? Say hello to the god of death. What an absolutely gorgeous specimen. But I get the feeling he's not going to beat Saitama because nothing has so far. Dark hands of god grabbing one punch man. Lifting him into the sky. You've got a solar maelstrom on the ground. But as soon as you get too close, the punches happen. Oh, this is the final fight. It is Saitama versus every single god from today's video. He has defeated them one-on-one. -on -one. Can you defeat them as a team? I hope you are ready for this one, Punch Man. Let's start the fight. Slow mo and Saitama has already killed one of the gods. The dark peasant hands are lifting One Punch Man into the sky, causing great amount of crowd control. But Saitama is in that mass of people, and there's a <laughs> serious punch just happened. What is going on? Where is One Punch Man in this pile? Oh, I found him. I found Saitama, and he doesn't have a head again, but he still might win. Multiple gods have already been defeated and Saitama continues to slam down to the ground because of the Dark Peasant Hand units. It seems like our monkey god is one of the last ones to live, as well as our god of death over here. He's just kind of chilling, dragging his swords around. It seems to me that the Dark Peasant Hands are continually slamming Saitama into the ground over and over and over. Hold on, the monkey god doesn't have a leg and a torso. <laughs> what is going on? I was like that there's like three dead monkey kings around everywhere. It's just hilarious. Has has anyone seen One Punch Man? S S Saitama? Hello? Where'd you go? I have a funny feeling that the god shoved Saitama into another dimension. Watch the goofiness. I need goofiness because I've been working so hard on my video. <laughs> I need a break. I just want to, yes! 
fire the giant fire. He dodged all the giant firework arrows. Dude, these people shot massive firework arrows at you because they, they wanted to give you a gift, a gift of firework arrows, but you can't even be decent enough to take the firework arrows in the chest. Oh, there's one. Oh, 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 there's some more. And it's kind of working. Was it working? Was it actually moving Saitama? I'm kind of confused. Oh, he just keeps serious sidestepping all of these units. No! My dynasty archers are going down. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Now I've got a big question. Okay, now I've got a big question. I, I need to go over here. I need to turn on the debug tools. So if I have giant firework arrows active, and I find firework arrows, do I also fire giant firework arrows? Shoot! Oh, I do. Oh, Saitama, what are you gonna do? You gonna, you gonna dodge all of these? Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. You're not gonna dodge all these firework arrows. Many of them are gonna impact you, and we're gonna see what happens when you get smacked by giant. Oh, I'm on your butt. I'm gonna boot him on your butt. Can anyone tell that I'm exhausted? I've been working so hard on this video for tomorrow, and I'm just absolutely exhausted. And all of these firework arrows can't move. Saitama. It's actually a little bit disgusting. If I switch to Super Beam, if I switch to Super Beam and I just, I'm gonna continue to shove giant firework arrows into the abdomen of Saitama and I'm gonna do everything I can to send him flying off into space. This guy just doesn't care. He doesn't care about the firework arrows. They just, he just completely ignores them. That's ridiculous. He wipes out the army. All right. All right, firework arrows, guys. That didn't work. This is just more stupidity, okay? Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get pillar mammoths. Yep, it's time for pillar mammoths. And I'm gonna go over here, and Satama's gonna fight the most ridiculous pile of mammoths you maybe have ever seen. We'll do like 80 mammoths. I'm gonna start and pause. And look at all the amazing mammoths. It's raining mammoths all around Saitama. It's not something you ever expected to see, did you? Oh no. No, you didn't. You didn't expect Saitama to get rained on by a bunch of mammoths. <laughs> I know Saitama's in there. There he is. See him? See him? See him? There he goes. He's having a good time. And he's um fighting his way through what conceivably is a giant pile of mammoths. But you know, I, I, I kind of want to deal with the mammoths myself. I turned off God powers. We're gonna turn them back on. I, I, I got a, I got a, oh, oh, I broke it. I got an idea. I got an idea for my, my mammoth friend. So I'm the mammoths, come on down. And everyone just fall, 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 fall. I've got big plans for the mammoth pile. You see the pumpkins? That's the plan. Still running mammoths. I'm gonna go try and worm my way. No, I'm not gonna worm my way. We're gonna restart the fight and then I'm gonna get myself in the, there underneath all the mammoths. Like, excuse me, I'm just gonna come right down here and it is gonna rain glorious mammoths all over. Send me, send me in there. Send me, come on, into the pile of mammoths, please. I, I think I'm inside the mammoths. Okay, stop. This is where things get interesting. Um, the only problem with my theory is I don't know how to escape. Because right now you're looking at me and I'm like trying to maneuver my way out of the mammoths. I can't even see where I'm going. I'm, I think I'm making it out of the mammoth. Where am I? I did it! I made it out of the mammoths! Okay, uh, I want to go back in there. I want to summon even more pumpkins. I just, just want to make a big old pumpkin explosion. It's like, ugh, I'm inside a cavity of mammoths. Give me more pumpkins. I mean, right now, you're probably thinking yourself, Crow, I can't see anything. All I can see are pumpkins. I know, just wait. Bear with me, okay? Stick with my insanity. I'm probably going to break... Uh, just must make way out. Mammoths. Probably gonna break everything. Maximum slow mo. Three, two, one, go. I hit the G key. Maximum slow mo is activating. Here come the pumpkins. Regular slow mo. <laughs> yes. That is exactly what I wanted to see. <laughs> pumpkins is such all the mammoths fly. <laughs> oh, it's all good. I wanna do it again. I wanna do it again. So I'm just gonna go right around here. I'm gonna go right out here. Yeah, I'm, I'm inside of a mammoth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look at this. Look, look at me. Just kind of chilling under the mammoths. Okay, I'm just gonna summon pumpkins while I back up. While I back up. And eventually make my way out of the mammoths. Hit it. Oh, so good. 